What's going on? YouTube is Donnie B all day and I'm kind of excited and I didn't think I was going to be excited to show you this, but I'm excited. Um, I picked this up for $27. I just didn't give it any flick there so I don't get excited and say, oh, it's a crappy flick. $27. I picked this thing up um, and I'll tell you what, it is so damn impressive so far i haven't really done anything with it but um i already did knock a not gonna oh my gosh look at do you see that bald spot right there yeah that just happened um yeah i didn't do anything with it so far except shave myself a couple bald spots um this thing okay i've never ever ever heard of this company i wasn't sure if this was like uh some generic knife that different companies put their names on but i'm starting to not think it is um this is by tactical gears and it's tactical gears with a z at the end and i think it's all one word but um this is d2 steel it even says it right around there and um just like the uh the cut jack from steel wheel this is not laser printed on there this is etched into the steel and i have to show you this all right, so I know you can see that blade thickness. This is the exact same blade thickness as the freaking SE6. This is a folder, right? This is double the blade thickness of like the uh, the steel wheel, the cut jack, and like the SE and all that. Guys, guys, girls, everybody, this thing so far, and I haven't tested it yet, so we're gonna find out if I'm wrong or not. This thing is awesome. It's a frame lock, and uh, the frame lock is so thick and burly and awesome and tough. It's um, obviously a straight edge. Um, it's got a tensioner, which I didn't play with yet, so don't get excited about that. But um, holy shit, this thing, it's its so hard. When you're holding a, a lock back, unless it's some kind of um, extra large um, anything from Cold Steel, most lockbacks don't feel like a knife in the hand because it's so light in the rear. This thing is all steel, and this thing feels like you're holding a real badass knife. And man, it it it's it, the recovery on this and the ability to wield it is freaking crazy. I love this thing, and as much well, I love it so far. I haven't tested it yet, so don't let's not get crazy. But as much as I love it from what I know of it right now, I have to tell you that there's one thing I don't love, and that's this. Um, for some reason, it came with this nylon sheath, and it says tactical gears on it, and you'd think, oh, well, that's not bad. It's got a little sheath with a belt loop, and yeah, that's cool. Okay, watch. Let's check this out. So you, you take the sheath, and you put the knife in the sheath, and it fits all the way in there, and then here's the thing. Watch this. Uh oh it doesn't touch why because the velcro is way up here you have a solid inch yeah, let's see if i can get a, a solid inch of space between the uh the closure i think that's a universal sheath they make and um it probably fits a few of their different knives um who gives a shit it does have a belt clip um it's not a um it's not ambidextrous but who cares it's really it's really cool this thing is solid 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 it's very, very straight. It's built well. Um, there is no wobble. There is, I mean, I don't know. You can't tell if I'm freaking wobbling or not. But there's no wobble. So far, I don't want to drop you guys. So far, just banging this thing around. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not going crazy. But there's nothing. There's nothing that um, has spoken to me about this that says I'm a cheap freaking knife. It's D2. So right away, I know the steel is good, but that doesn't mean the heat treat's good. Um, what I do know is that so far, um, the edge came to me razor, razor sharp, $27, guys, on eBay. Um, so far, I like it. It's got like a some kind of rocky mountain tread almost, like a, like a scale pattern, um, and it's called stone wash. It's not used. Um, they take a black one and they kind of brush off it. It looks good. I like it. Um, it actually looks very, very tough. This thing is uh this thing is really really cool. I think it's um 8 inches, right? So 8 inches long. The blade itself through the lug I think is 4 inches with like a 3 and a half almost cutting edge. 
Um, they make it in this and they make it in a Tonto style as well. And I think I'm going to pick up the Tonto just to um, compare them for $27. Why not, right? So what I want to do is put a little test on this, see if it's as good as I hope it is by just digging out this freaking spine, just checking that out, how thick this is. D2 steel, crazy, crazy, crazy cool to hold. And now I hope it's as cool to use because... I'll be so disappointed if this thing sucks because I like it so much already. So let's check it out. All right, so we've got a water bottle. And you know, there's no better test of a blade than hitting a water bottle, whatever. But at least you'll be able to see the sharpness. Shaving already tells you that it's sharp. But I kind of like this, so I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Wow. That is, I literally went almost all the way through it. It's just shorthanded. So let's see if we can hit it even farther down here. And I just absolutely soaked myself. But again, where I hit it, uh, we are way over here. Where I hit it, it absolutely, I mean, just sharp. This thing is so sharp out of the box. Um, I like that so far. Let's go check it out some more. All right, so if you're all a fan of the blade, you know pretty much that a, uh, a lock blade with a three and a half inch cutting edge isn't a chopper but my job is to see if this is a piece of crap so i just want to give it a few and just see hey if i'm going to remove some wood which i'm doing i mean i don't expect it to make a giant hole because it is a lockback and it's small well you know three inch blade it's bigger than any of those two inch blades obviously by an inch and a half um but here's what the test is after wrapping on it I want to see how the edge is and twenty-seven dollar edge hitting some hardwood there on the pallet and look at that that edge is perfect I'm looking at it and there is nothing nothing on this edge so let's keep going all right so far I'm pretty excited about this and I'm more excited about this than I thought I would be um, because um, I didn't expect it to be as cool as I completely missed you know twice all right, so here we go. Wow, that's actually uh, when I finally got it in. It really bit. Um, I'm gonna pry a little bit with it. Now remember, this is a lockback, so you don't, if you're gonna pry, and <laughs> it's prying really good, guys. Um, if you're gonna pry, hold yourself at the lug because if you pry from here with a lockback, you're gonna separate this. Boop, um, and that's gonna that's gonna ruin your day if you really like the knife. Now. I just pried a little bit, obviously, and I threw it in, tip down, obviously. You see that? Nothing, man. This, uh, this so far, so far is really good. So let's see. I have uh, great confidence that this is going to work because it's so sharp and, uh, it's not, um, it's not disappointing. I'll tell you that this thing, it's actually kind of easy. Uh, let's see. Let's get a uh, get a couple get a couple nice feathers here without knocking them off like I'm doing. Uh -huh. So here we go. I'm gonna try and uh, I hit a couple knots, so it's knocking the feathers off, but it's making really nice feathers before they fall. I mean, uh, if I need this to to start a fire, I have no doubt in my mind that this knife will get that job done stay with me now so here we go i'm just gonna give it a couple of chops here to make a make a spear point and uh golly it's uh it's kind of really easy actually 27 freaking dollars guys now i'm looking at this edge and i'm i'm really going over it because i want to find something wrong so i can say okay maybe i was wrong Maybe it's not as cool and it's not going to be as strong as it is. This so far is D2 steel. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Gets the job done. All right, so let's do a little um, companies who make this kind of stuff. Hates when we do this kind of stuff. But we're not going to know if it's any good unless we do it, right? So let's, uh, let's get it done. Now, batoning is a great way especially in hardwood to find out if your blade is going to warp 
to find out if your edge is going to dull, to find out if your edge is going to chip, and I'm getting some of the dirt and bark off of there so you guys can see. Batoning has not affected this edge. Let's see. Are we still shave sharp? We are still shave sharp, my friends. Wow. This thing. Holy moly. I might give this to my daughter to do her legs with. This is better than Bic right here. Um, holy crap. Um, so far, I am really digging this. And I got this almost as a joke because I'm looking at this price point and I was looking at this. Wow, tactical gears. Never freaking heard of it. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I heard of it now. Um, here's something that, that's pretty cool too. Um, I think I told you, I, actually I think I told you guys that's etched in. I did. Repeat. Um, anyway, so far I'm loving it. Let's go do some more stuff, all right? All right, when I was stepping outside um, to review this, one thing I did not think was I'm going to take this $27 tip and uh, jam it through a paint can without gloves, risking my hand, own hands. So, love me or not, here you go. All right, so let's see. Let's see this tip. Let's see this. Let's see this tip. Guys, this is 27 freaking dollars of D2 steel with a steel handle, all steel construction. Let's see. But what about that? Uh, what about that? Oh, seems to, uh, seems to still work. That is crazy. So now, see if it, it doesn't wobble. Um, the uh, frame lock is still good. Let's see if I can still, yeah. Um, golly. Now I didn't tension it, you know, I didn't play with the tensioner, so obviously it's not lightning fast, but holy shit, I'm telling you guys. And then after I clean this up, it's gonna, there's no scratches on this thing. It's gonna be shiny and new all over again. There is nothing, nothing distorting this edge. Let's keep going. All right, so we're out here in the junk pile, AKA pile of junk. And um, I'm gonna try and swat down this, uh, this little tree here. All right, I'm actually gonna come across it reverse instead of with a power stroke. Let's see. That went about halfway through. So now I'm gonna come forward and see if we can't end it. That's a yes, people. I hope you guys don't fall down. You're just balancing in, a, in one of the one-inch trees. So, no problem. Um, this thing, this thing did exactly what I wanted it to do. It, um, it's outperforming expectations, and I like that. Uh, I mean, I almost don't know what else I can do with it to show you, because this thing. That's dirt on it, right? That's nothing nothing bad. That's just caca marks. Check this edge out, guys. Look at the uh, the straightness of the spine all the way through the tip. Tactical gears. D2 steel. 27 freaking dollars. I am so happy. I am definitely, definitely getting the Tonto version of this just so I can have two um, because, um, after playing around with it, I definitely want to. So here's something I'm finding after, um, I was squeezing the shit out of this and this is fault of my own type thing where I, uh, squeezed so hard. I pushed in the frame lock a little, a little too much because, you know, I'm a strong dude. So what I'll do is I'll just work that out. Let's keep going. All right. So just a little update. What I did when I pressed this in. Um, I pressed it in so hard that it kind of got stuck. It's still brand new too, so it's going to have a little bit of wear. But I'm trying to press it in again. Okay, so you see how the frame lock is frame lock is locked in there. Can't pull it out. All I did is go like this, and it was right back, right back to easy open, easy close. Um, so that again, this is brand new. This is out of the box, so that's going to work itself out um, with time. Obviously, it'll be a little better, and I won't have to worry about gripping it so tight. But even if I do end up gripping it tight, I mean, you can see in there, it's, I don't know if you can see in there, but it's brand spanking new. So you see those little scratches, there's no wear yet. And uh, that wear is going to make it seat comfortably. Um, so uh, basically, uh, that's it. That wasn't a problem. Um, it was easily fixed. Let's, um, 
let's try and throw this. I'm gonna try an underhand throw, okay? Um, first, I'm gonna trip on a log. You guys didn't see it, but I'm pretty sure you heard it. So I don't even know if this is gonna go, but. <laughs> All right, that was more like bowling. I actually went underhand and, and threw it against the ground. Shut up. All right, we're gonna go overhand. <laughs> first throw, overhand with the new knife and tactical gears. I'll tell you what, it does it all. There is nothing, nothing wrong with this edge. There's no doling, there's no chipping, no folding, no marks. It didn't scratch. All it got was dirty. And I'm gonna take some Maz uh, metal polish and that is gonna clean right up. I wanna see if I can just get it clean enough to show you guys that edge. Holy mackerel. Let me tell you something. My thinking today was, here's this cheap knife company I've never heard of. Most likely, many of you have not heard of, especially if you're knife people. We usually um, stick to the uh, to the big boys, to the real guys. I got this because it was $27 and it was D2. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to use it as a comparison to, um, to the SE and to the Steel Will. I'll tell you what. Um, it's... Um, Doop. Uh, I can't wait to, to play with that tensioner. Um, this thing, this thing holds up, holds its own, does the trick. Everything except that um, that crappy little she that came with. Everything is great except that, and I mean great. I'm not I'm not bullshitting you guys. Um, Twenty seven dollars, and the only thing I can say negative is I haven't worked it in yet. I haven't worked it in yet. And I press really hard because I'm like, you know, boo strength where, you know, foam helmet kind of guy where I, I don't, you know, I can't register my own, my own strength. And, um, I pressed in the freaking frame lock too hard. That's on me. Um, holy shit. This thing, this thing is pretty cool. Guys, $27, $27. Go on eBay, look up tactical gears with a Z at the end. And you will see this one, and you'll see one in a, in a Tonto tip version. Uh, and you're going to say to yourself, there's no way it can be that great. I'm showing you. I'm showing you right here, right now. This thing is fan freaking tastic So, sharp, strong, thick, sturdy, awesome. It's even good looking. Um, do I recommend it? Hell yeah, this is um, a really good little pocket knife. This is great for you guys who use straight edges at work and uh, need something stronger than a little razor blade that's gonna snap in half every three days. I like it. So, you guys have seen it, and it's still dead straight, right? This is Tactical Gears, whatever the hell it's called, straight edge, I don't even know if there's a name for it, just Tactical Gears. Um, it's awesome. Like this um you know being awesome uh, so am i so i am donnie b all day and until next night